Hello and welcome back to my channel. You've tuned in again to Strober and this is the channel where I share with you my reviews, work experience in addition to the other media trick or two. Okay guys, today is a very special video because I've made it for one person and that person is Short Flame. Basically, Short Flame has watched one of my videos where I've worn this tactical vest and Short Flame has asked me two things. A, what is the name of the tactical vest? And B, can I show a close-up of it? Okay, to answer the first question, short flame, I'm not exactly sure what the actual model of the tactical vest is. But if you go on eBay and just put in tactical vest, then lots of these and lots of different models will pop up there are all very useful regardless of the model it is you buy. Now let me show you around my tactical vest and the reason why I wear it in the field. Okay, let me show you the first thing. On this side of my tactical vest, I have a light. Now, it gets very dark when you're working in the field, so having a light is a very good thing to have. Now I have it on this side of my vest, because I will always have it on me and I will never forget to not have a torch. So that is why it's permanently fixed on this side of the vest. Now moving on, on this side of the vest I have my Garmin e handheld GPS device. So as you can see, this monitors me and this tracks me when I'm in the field. So as long as this is working, I will never be lost. So there you go. That's my Garmin e Fainter HC GPS system. Now, moving on to the magazine pouches. The magazine pouches don't carry magazines. Instead, they carry my SB600 speed lights. Now, this is the reason why this tactical vest is so very useful because I do not have to put down my photographer's bag or rucksack and go looking for my speed lights because I know my speed lights are located on my chest. And that was the only reason why I bought this, this tactical vest in the first place. Now, if we move on, oh, sorry, let me show you what's in this pocket. In this pocket, I've got my Pixel TW282 remote control. Now this is a very good remote control to use when you're outdoors. So that's another thing that I do carry in the magazine pouch of my photographer's vest. Now if we go down to here, to the grenade pocket, okay, in this scenario it's not grenades. Instead it is my Pixel King Pro radio triggers. So if I need my radio triggers, then I know they're there in my grenade pouch. Or, well, I would like to call it my radio trigger pouch. Now, let me show you some other aspects of this tactical vest which I like. Basically, on the side of them, and not only on the side, but it's also here in the back, you can see here, is that you have these clips. Now, as you can see, you can see them clips. You can, yeah, you can see them there. I'll bring it down. You can see them clips. Now, these clips are very useful for adding extra things, such as an SB900, for example. So as long as I've got these straps, I can add additional kit or gear to the actual vest itself. Now, this is where you become a little bit more serious. If I'm going, let's say, away for a weekend and I'm going to be wild camping in the field or something, then the brilliant thing about this vest is that, as you can see here, it's flat at the back. Now, this allows me to include rucksacks. So, if I bring my rucksack there, you can now see the amount of gear it is that I could actually be carrying whilst I'm working in the field. So there you go, Short Flame. I've just walked you around 
my tactic go first, and I now hope that you have a better idea of the kind of stuff it is that I use my tactic go first for. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys all soon. Thank you.